Ravens jumping out window, going into underpass, you know, was very effective earlier. And just the ops. We saw the propensity for that double op setup. It can work here as well. Oh, it definitely can. There's a lot of teams that have flirted with the idea. Again, getting a lot of mid-presence early, something that we saw struggles big time for, for Mythic. In the last match, we had the best of one in the, the upper bracket, or lower, excuse me, the lower bracket final. But it is going to be the pistol round starting out, and Liquid putting a bias right now in toward the B site. Flowsick wants to sell this today, so over goes one flash. And a smoke as well as Tarek fires through, knowing the angle to look for Palace. But again, it's all a ruse. They've got Fugly with the bomb waiting at B, and so far the trades aren't even working out on this fake as Flowsick has gone down. Tarek's going to push through one in the smoke. He's going to be hurt, and now he has to realize that he's got one in behind. As now, all of this going down, it's happening at B. The bomb's already been dropped, and FNS, though, does end up going down, so Liquid have recovered as Nitro picks up the initial. And Elise coming back with two now as he takes down Cutler. This allows the bomb plant, and they've got three men. So Liquid looking fairly solid here. The problem is that their last man is still lurking over from A, so Adren's a little bit late to the party. And that means Hayes has a bit of a chance here, as he's already found the first kill, but he's so low on HP. Five, in fact, and make it less, as Tarek on 28 has to do it all against two. He's got so much accuracy, we'll see if he can use it in this pistol. Has a kit. Tries to bait out the first, spotting up Nitro as he goes for the late peak. Just to double check it, and he's actually going to find it in an awkward situation. Dancing and dodging around, but it's a Dren oh no. that just has to play the time. I don't think he expects that he has a kit. Oh, oh that was the... man. At uh, times that perfectly or not, but that, that was... Such a close defuse. Tarek, uh, that, that was actually really intelligent. Gets out of the bombsite, takes out Nitro, and you could immediately see he just threw, his, cr threw his crosshair and pre-fired the window to wait for him to try and jump out. But And, and you could just see a section of chat beyond the uh, player point of view there in the camera, but they are all talking about how close that was. I don't even think they were sure until confirmation from in-game showed up. Who won that round? Yeah, Dren. Just playing it, playing it close. So, CLG... Don't invest in the armor. They just have the upgraded pistols. There goes JDM in mid. A little bit of aggression. They're peeking out. They're taking battles with these rifles from long range, and that's just, you know, Elijah's happy with that. He's got two kills. Looking to quickly mop up, mop up this eco round. He's now looking toward Palace. As we can see, Finesse is underneath of it. Gives Fugly a bit of a problem when he tries to come through using the SMG, and so far he's being passive about that play. The rest of the team is coming over to this site, though, so everybody on the map is at A. We got a party, and everyone's invited. Finesse is going to be the first to celebrate by taking a headshot into a Dren, but immediately afterward, he gets caught by flames, and Elise takes care of the rest. It's his birthday party, and his rules apply. <laughs> it's two SMGs still. Once again, no armor, so CLG just playing for that fourth round. They want to have the more utilities. They want to be able to bring an op out. And you can see JDM with 3,300 hasn't bought any kind of pistol whatsoever. He's just playing for the money. And that'll be big on this map. If Once again, if Liquid fails to, to punish him or fails to neutralize him with that op, he's going to have a field day. Flash through. As two players come through, and it works out perfectly. Tarek able to get that kill on Flowsick, who did absolutely zero damage in return, hoping for a lucky shot in this spray. Now, that's two bodies that were dedicated to that aggression. And there's no, there's no response from T-Liquid. They haven't gained any advantages. Now they're just falling back. They're watching their flank. Three players at the top of mid, just kind of watching for more pushes. So FNS might be able to grab some in intel, but he can't commit to a fight if he finds one. So still a lot of ways to go. JDM getting map control, pushing down A-Ramp. Fugly doesn't hear him. So he's got a great advantage. He's going to be right on hot on the heels. He has all the intel. He's telling his team. You can see the rotations of the minimap. All of CLG pushing over towards this B bomb site. This is looking very scary for Liquid. JDM is going to be oh, hot walk. on the heels, and he does walk indeed. But either way, he's going to spot them before they get there. And Tarek is very close. Now, he doesn't have a flash. FNS does. And FNS is on catwalk, but he can't go for that quick pop flash peek, even though he will still get the initial jump on top of Fugly, but still not able to collect the kill. And that allows Hayes to get one in response, but it's all liquid after that. You said they might be in trouble, but they're fighting themselves out, or are they? As Cutler, he's been so consistent, brings it back to yet another one-on-one, -on -one, but it's a Dren holding true with the AK. Yeah, they had everything set up to win that round. Five members on four, basically. They had him cornered into those halls, so difficult to get out of that. Flank from JDM, he had all the intel, but he misses the kill when he comes around. So that's kind of, that, that, that basically sealed the deal. Liquid's able to squeak it out, but they take four deaths. That hurts a lot. Now they do have five smokes, five Molotovs into this round. They're going to spread out. Fugly's going to watch a ramp. This is just going to be their map control. No one even peeking mid. They don't have an AWP, and they know JDM will have his. And JDM's looking aggressively from Catwalk. So the off angle 
And Knight Sherman Elise are so close to coming around that corner. Meanwhile, they've also got players looking for mid-presence, just trying to win this from every possible position. And the underpass, so pow powerful and trying to get to connector quickly. JDM's response is actually quite interesting, that he's already faded off of Catwalk, despite that they haven't put any aggression toward him to support window. This allows Finesse to get more passive in jungle and then easily be able to support A, but still Liquid, they're just posted up and waiting for the, the right moment, the right pick, the right look to walk out of mid, and Elise nice is going to find that by having a barbecue of JDM. It's going to be flow sick into Tarek immediately after, and now it's a two-man advantage. Yeah, quickly going to get up Catwalk. They're going to take this advantage, not messing around whatsoever. Hayes doesn't even move from the A bomb site, so this is a safe call for, for CLG already. FNS, he may try, nope, I thought he might try and go into, into the Lila room and try, and try and salvage that AWP, but instead they're all just going to fall back towards A, give up this round. They're going to be able to buy into the next one, but that's fourth for Team Liquid, looking much better on this T side already than they did on Cash. And it was a liege neutralizing. I mean, that, that's, that, was, that was also kind of interesting to me, is that JDM, much like on Cash, he was playing in that checkers position where you, you really don't have a lot of places to fall back. That's kind of a do-or-die spot. Once again, he puts himself in that ladder room. No chance to relocate, so you better hit that first shot, but he just gets mollied out. Meanwhile, FNS and Cutler taking a couple out at the end of this round. Three kills for for Liquid, so more guns that they're going to have to rebuy going forward. That may not be done just yet as Adren throwing a flash and has a shot. Oh, he actually did hit Cutler through the edge of the boards. It's going to be another trade, so only two players survive, one apiece. It's Adren and Hayes with weapons left over, recycled, and reused. But it's Liquid that have the money, so they're going to have five weapons. It is a force, though. Interesting force as well from CLG. A very aggressive force as they bring out an MP7, a 5-7. And then two M4s and the FAMAS that Cutler is wielding. All of them have head armor. Smokes as well, so there's still a bit of utility here to delay the push and slow things down from Liquid, but a 4-0 start is looking pretty good on the T side. As Finesse, it's not JDM with an op on Catwalk, it's him this time as he bounces out the nade, hoping that they might be up close. Cutler, speaking of up close, is also playing in the shadow position, waiting for anyone to walk toward his crosshair as Nitro dodging that initial flash thrown by a teammate as that smoke came in. Looks for the peek toward mid. He's now going to smoke off window late, so that won't allow JDM to go for the re-peek. And he wants to hold that late angle in case they push, pat, push catwalk, but the smoke is placed in such a fashion that he's not even going to have that ability. As Nitro's still making a move. Yeah, FNS also pushing up into these B tunnels, being a little bit aggressive behind the smoke. FNS has grabbed this... Soft angle. You might have heard Flosick fall back there, but he doesn't want to push it quite yet. Meanwhile, Liquid has already rotated back towards the A bomb site. Three members of CLG are there. No smokes, no Molotovs, no nades for these choke points. Just a couple flashes, and Dren's going to have to go through this. Cutler's forced out, though, with the flames in place. A smoke, though, in front of Palace now slows Fugly, and that has problems and effects on both the Liege and Adren because they came in without the secondary support. Nitro, the first to get a response kill, is CLG. Timed that perfectly, and Cutler, who is waiting at Firebox, now drops the bomb. It has to be a re-grab, but Nitro might make that possible until Finesse shows up with that SMG. So this Force Buy has the advantage in quite a favorsome situation. Three versus one. Nitro in the middle of nowhere right now, but trying to play the angle correctly in no time. Yeah, rotating back towards A. Oh, nice shot by Nitro there at the end in a losing effort. He does get three kills on the round, the only one to find him, but... CLG, that round's won by Hayes. Those first two kills slows that attack down. No one else could make a progression onto the bomb site. And then behind Hayes in those two kills, once he falls, it's Cutler playing patiently like we know he does, just waiting, just biding his time, and he finds the opportunity to really put that final nail in the coffin on that round for Liquid. So that's the first one for CLG. This looks like a, this is a late force buy for Team Liquid just now, finally finalizing what they want to purchase. Tech 9's on three, Fugly, Adren, and, and uh, Flosick, while Elysia and Nitro have the AK-47s. And what can Elysia and Nitro do? Definitely two potent players. I've had moments of brilliance all weekend long, and that's what's become expected of them, as Tarek is waiting on patio at B. Smoke prohibiting his vision as he hears at least one player but again, this is just for distraction. This is just to get CLG out of position. As the bomb waiting with Nitro. And the other gun, Elige, along with Flosick to go in. So they've got all their top fragging potential right now on A. Adren's going to slow, slowly go back through T-spawn, but they haven't really made anything happen at B, despite the intentions. Yeah, and this is something, there's no map control right now for Team Liquid, so this is something in the future that could hurt them if CLG just decides to get up aggressive up mid. If they find that timing, they can have some quick flanks around, but 
That one presence of Fugly actually pulls JDM away just a little bit so far away. Now the smoke squad, here's the execute. I might have just pulled him enough because those smokes do leave him on the outside of the perimeter, but he's going to push through aggressively as Hazed, and he's already found one, but Nitro, no, it's actually Adren, excuse me, gets the first kill in response as the bomb is dropped in the middle of the site, but quickly re-grabbed by Adren, and Liquid have found the advantage by just one player, but that's enough to get the bomb down, and Fugly, the timing of that lurk. Tarek had absolutely no idea he was coming, and he's going to get the second shot with the Tech-9 as well. So Finesse can't save anything as the intent was going to be, and Liquid, 5-1. to one. Yeah, and that one, Fugly over at B, that one player, he didn't force any committed rotates. They didn't leave the bomb site, but it did pull them out of position just enough that that gave Liquid the opportunity to really swarm through those smokes and surround the players inside the bomb site and over at the stairs and just eliminate them and take over that site. So a great win for Team Liquid immediately responding and a full save out of CLG now. Adren is going to be the first one in right now. You say full save. But so conservative right now from Liquid, and they're going to get taken down. What a 1D from Hayes that actually looked like it was going to be the player Cutler who was on the balcony to take that first shot. But how much better is it when Hayes now picking up a second one can do that from a distance, and it's all working out for CLG because Terrick now has Fugly, and the trades are plus one in favor of CLG as the smokes finally do come out from Liquid. Forcing JDM to get passive, and unfortunately Hayes gets caught out because of that, so the bomb will definitely go down. But Terrick's picked up an AK, and lethal with any weapon, and AK especially, has a really, really good chance of doing the damage and making this round fall back to CLG. And he comes around perfectly timed to find Flosick. He knows Nitro has to be towards CT. And JDM is going to join in and try and get towards this diffuse. Flash comes out perfectly timed, so they can't get on it yet, just yet, because even if JDM does, Tarek wasn't in a position to help him. And now with Nitro getting that first kill, it is going to come back to Nitro, who gets the upper hand against JDM. Huge round for Nitro there, winning that clutch out in the one-on-two. Almost another miracle return from CLG. What are these anti-ecos? Both teams struggling with them at the moment, but finally Liquid's able string two more rounds together. These last three rounds have just been back and back, back and forth, and Talk I always see a shotgun out of color. Polar opposite from where we started last game, though, where the economy is favoring Liquid massively. And Cutler's going to have that shotgun very close to Palace, no surprise. As well as a bit of a stack right now on that A bomb site because JDM, Finesse, and Tarek have all joined in with Hazed, low HP, just checking out what's going on at mid, and he's going to find out soon that there's a lot going on in mid as three players push past that smoke, and he has to evade that grenade, and he does so correctly timed. A bit of luck on his side there as Nitro pushes forward. Yeah, Fugly getting that opening kill up the A ramp, and there's Nitro coming up catwalk as well. This is a little bit, played a little bit more aggressive. And this was a stack at the A bomb site for CLG, so it's just going to be lucky, lucky over, or I mean, Fugly over here, he's going to be getting aggressed upon. He's got to be very careful. He keeps falling back. He's got a long way to go, but getting some space, and now he's going to commit. He has to now. He can't go anywhere. FNS eventually does take him down. The remaining Liquid members fall back. They come back to chase these kills down. Don't want him to save that AK-47. Flosick falls for his trouble, but there's Adren to clean things up. No weapon save for, for CLG. 1-7 to seven. now. This is a great half out of Liquid on a map that CLG is very, very confident on. And Liquid, like I said, though, they don't mind the map themselves. It just hasn't always gone their way. Well, right now it definitely is. Double up set up, though, for Tarek and JDM. And we talked about this initially, that there is a high possibility on this map for that to come into play as well. And right now it's going to be the first stop with JDM inside the window. And Tarek is going to take his toward B. So he's going to set up that auto turret inside the apartments. How does Finesse react to this? He's not even... Okay, now he is. He's going to go to Catwalk. Initially, it looked like he was just going to head back toward mid. But this is the correct play. Catwalk so we can help support Tarek in the worst case scenario. Well, and also now that they, they they hear the op being shot, they don't even want to mess with mid. You can see as soon as JDM started shooting through that smoke, they just evacuated. They go over towards B. They've relinquished the entire control of the map. No presence over at A where it's just Cutler far back. All in these B tunnels. Pushing up onto the site. And interestingly enough, Tarek, who I said was going to set up that auto turret, has left. They've swapped it back out because he didn't see any initial shots as he might have expected a very quick B rush, not something that's uncommon, thought, okay, they're not here, they must be at middle. And so far he's 0 for 2, and now out of the initial position that Finesse has to cover. Yeah, he could swing around. He'll have a pretty good angle at those windows, but it's all in FNS. If he could time this jump, spot him far enough away. They don't have any Molotovs or smokes to slow it down once it is spotted, but once again, coming down to 30 seconds before this execute it comes out. It should be spotted, though. He sh yeah, there's exactly why, because the smokes came over the top. Unfortunately, he peeked back out of his blinded up, so he has to play passive. As Tarek, though, you called it, has that angle and has two kills. JDM, he's also rotated, and the second op comes in from Market. 
to take the only player who made it past the balcony, who made it into the bomb site, as Fugly now coming in from Catwalk finds himself lonely, alive, but lonely, and not even alive for much longer. Yeah, Tarek with a three kill that round. Beautiful play from him on the Catwalk, turning around, saving his teammate with the initial kill, but FNS, someone jumped on his head. He couldn't, couldn't convert that into a kill, but still, double up setup is out for CLG, much like it was. They didn't lose any of those expensive weapons. And it's Tarek that round, pulling that back into it. Now two rounds for them. They need to string some together here or else this can balloon. And it's going to be fortunate that Liquid's only having the Tech 9s. They don't even really have armor. Elyse does buy up with a lack of head armor. But this is going to be another round where, where Liquid's just hoping to throw their smokes, throw their execute, and hope that they can get a bomb plan off of it. So aggressive, JDM. But it is passive from the pistols. In fact, so passive that Adren and Elyse take their first steps. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> the infants are walking. They've yeah. left spawn now, though, and they are looking toward that B site. They've lost Flosik already. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, it's still so far back. This is much like their gun rounds, and you know, why not just try and overwhelm somebody at this point? You're going to come up. FNS is still jump spotting. Now, that's, that's the good thing. They're heading over towards B. Look at the rotation from CLG. No one even near middle right now. Tarek finally probably realizing that the gap in these... And their defense, and it's FNS very isolated all alone. He does throw a deep smoke. It looks like it's going to slow down Liquid even more. Even more. They don't really want to run through it. And as Tarek's I say here. that, they do it. And Tarek has rotated back just in time. But he's got the AWP. He misses that first shot as well. It's crucial. Can't find the second one. He gets dropped. It's just FNS over there. There is a TK. FNS grabs one. But it's a two on three now. And CLG's got to retake through these choke points. Simple to hit that first shot to change everything from Tarek. And so easy to whip. And as he did... Look what happens. Liquid get in, and not only that, Nitro picks up that op, gets a return kill, but CLG, they still hold true as they have the rifles against no armor. And congratulations, that's round number three. Slowly clawing back in with two consecutive, starting to build back a bit of a bank. That's so incredibly dangerous that late in the round to try and get an opper into that position. He gets up there at the wrong timing. As soon as they start executing, he can't land the shot, and he just gets punished for it. So FNS, they get bailed out by TK. If that had been a three on three, that could have been far scarier. Is it Dren? Okay, no, he had 74. I thought maybe, as they are behind, he does to go for that T side op, but he doesn't. He stays away from it, and CLG go right back to the double op setup they have been running. It's Tarek and JDM again. As Fugly is the player that wants to lurk into Ward A this time, get the early read. Bomb, three players all at horseshoe and already out middle, so a bit of a commitment here because if they get caught with that bomb and no escape plan, it's going to absolutely throw a blunder in the round. Well, and interesting, they haven't been messing with middle since since the ops have come out for CLG once again. And now this time, four members there, they just take complete control of it aggressively. It's very, very early in the round for Liquid to be this aggressive and have this kind of map control. Now, are they going to do anything with it? It doesn't look like it. They grab it. They're going to leave a Dren here, it looks like, in this corner. It looked like they were falling back, but instead they're going to move up Catwalk. These smokes are going to start fading. they got to make progress soon. Progress is a steady process, though, and as a result, they slow things down still. Finesse was playing that off angle to spot up on Catwalk, but the bomb is slowly rotating back over. But look at Cutler. He's pushed up in Palace right now. He might actually catch that bomb in transition as Hazed finds the initial play, and he does. Nitro's down. That bomb is dropped all the way back toward T-Spawn. And Cutler completely hinders the plans, and he's going to do further damage as he finds Fugly. And the round now is definitely all CLGs. Flosick gets the bomb at least up, but... He hasn't got a single player, and neither of his teammates down from CLG, and that's how it will end. It's going to be Hazed recovering, and CLG, good turnaround so far. Yeah, great work by Cutler. Pushed up there. This not is the feeling, first save Liquid's had to do. Yeah, not, not feeling very much pressure, and taking that opportunity to push through Palace. That was very Fnatic-esque from Liquid. They had mid-control. They put a lesion in the, in, the, uh, in the ladder room, much like Fnatic likes to do, and then rotate back towards A for an execute and have him cut off rotations or lurk or, or just kind of play it by his own gut feeling. Unfortunately, with Cutler pushed up like that, he gets those two kills and ruins it before they can even make that work. Underpass presence this time from Liquid. As Nitro, Elise, Flosik, they all head that direction with these pistols. They want to get in to Connector. They want to overwhelm exactly where Hazed is playing. And JDM in the window would then have to be forced to rotate. But Hazed isn't going to be overwhelmed at all. Three, Tech 9, four. And that's everybody. All of the efforts that have gone that direction down and out. Fugly is over toward A. And Hazed is searching. He wants this ace. Yeah, what a sequence from him. Now he wants to clean it up. Not even going to reload the rifle. Just keep the Tech 9 B mobile. He's going to find Fugly when he comes, if he goes down the ramp. But playing it passively, playing the uh, playing the econ game, not hunting too much and maybe losing a gun, forcing a rebuy, not a huge issue even if he does lose it, but don't even want to give anything over to Liquid at this point. They already have seven rounds. So this has been a great half for them. Keep this camera on, Hazed. 
Keep the search rolling. The rest of his team is just sitting watching the ball, but oh, Cutler. Cutler, come on. BM, bro. <laughs> Fifth round for CLG, starting to catch up a little Look bit. Look at Hayes' frag total as well. Four in that round, he's got 17. He's in double digits, the next on his team, nine. So he's been definitely a huge part of this comeback from CLG in the last couple rounds. In fact, he leads all fraggers, despite that they were down 7-1 initially. He's, he was the star. He was the star when CLG upset Fnatic as well. He was the one that was sitting up with like 26, 27 kills. So something about this map, he really likes it. Now we're seeing the mid-aggression. Catches him a little bit off guard, but he's not able to land the shot initially, so Elish punishes him. There's a second player trying to go for a repeat. That's Cutler, but wisely he just falls back. He didn't have the battle he wanted. Didn't get the kill, and he just stays alive. But they have done a decent amount of damage to Elysian Nitro. And JDM fell in Tide's connector as well to help Cutler's escape. All the while, though, and here's the interesting thing, they've rotated back through T-Spawn. Cutler's misread this because he's gone over toward B, so the defense is entirely split up and away from the site that is about to be under threat. Luckily, JDM, realizing there hasn't been any mid-presence, will go help Tarek. And with the op, if he can find the right angle and the early shots, to slow down Liquid on their entry, there's still a chance for this. And Cutler, he's going to wait for the call. It looked like he was on the way back, but hesitant at this point. Liquid's biting all the time. This is what we talked about, what they did on Cash. Just wait it out, bait it out, and find the right timing. Yeah, and they're really, they're really exploiting the fact that they have a man up, so they, they run a lot of clock down. They've, they've widened the rotates, but now look, all of CLG converging onto this A bomb site as the hit comes in. And the hit coming in, it's going to be the hitman, Nitro, to do the first damage. The entry as always, but there's JDM in that off. He finds the angle, trying to jump up on Ticket Booth as Cutler. He's not low enough for that nade to take him down, but it will do further damage. And speaking of getting taken down, his teammates have all perished. It's just him remaining. 41, bomb planted, Liquid response finally. They'll get their eighth round. Yeah, very convincing from Liquid, just wiping CLG off the map once that hit came in. And a five on four, Liquid slow plays it. Forces them to question the rotations. Like you said, Cutler going all the way over towards B, having to get back. And once the hit comes in, they just couldn't. I mean, all those smokes, there was no way the rotations were going to be able to beat past that wall of smokes they had up. So very well done from Liquid. This is going to be their eighth. And there it is to close it out. Flosick finds, secures, delivers, and we go to round 14. Money, though, again, CLG, because they were able to sing those consecutive rounds together, is still favorsome. 11-7 pre-buy for Hayes, so that will go down just a little bit, but everyone else already with the weapons out quite comfortably in full utilities, even for the opera of JDM, as he's got four grenades and a P250. Yeah, now they're going to battle in mid. I can never, I never tell in this small overlay. <laughs> they do swing out on mid. They have that smoke at the base of Catwalk to block JDM's vision. And look at this boost from FNS and Cutler. They're stacked, so JDM can actually fall off this now. Two members, so when Elise turns this corner, he might have two people to fight with, but no, FNS fell away. It was just Tarek on top of the box. He gets eliminated. It looked good initially, and Molotov might have forced him away just a little bit. Elise just FNS so gonna... good at reacting to those angles. Is yeah, he, he is. He is. Young talent. So he falls back after that initial kill, giving Liquid the one-man advantage. Yeah, now, I mean, this is just what they've done. They've taken that advantage, much like the last round, five on four, no reason for them to look for another pick. They already have the one they want. They can just sit back now, watch for anyone from CLG to get aggressive to try and push. And this was the thing, on cash, CLG remained aggressive like that, and they were winning those battles, but now they've kind of been punished more often than not, so they're forced to play a little bit more passive, especially in a man-down situation. This is going to be another A hit. And the A hit is slowed a little bit. It's JDM now finding two, but Fugly did get Cutler in Firebox. Elise answering the haze. It's all on JDM now. So far, so good, and can't hit the last one. It's Elise to come back, so Elise now takes over the round with three kills, and Finesse coming back through from jungle. Knows he's inside the connector, but still can do nothing about it. Four kills for Elise on that it's round. Comes up round. huge. Gets that first kill, and then just clears out that A-bomb site. Well done from him. He's coming up huge. Now he's at 17. Caught up to Hayes, who's only gotten one kill in the last couple rounds since you mentioned his... Uh... Maybe now I shouldn't... Maybe, now, maybe that's going to happen to uh, to Elyse, <laughs> the caster's curse. Right. Let's talk about play people who don't have kills. Come on, Flowsick, only with four. <laughs> CLG really, really hurting. No kits whatsoever. Not a lot of smokes to utilize either. That's going to give Adran a widow of opportunity. Feeling very confident to just come up those stairs and take that peek in the A-bomb site. Nothing comes of it except for the fact that he's forced to smoke. Now, FNS is pushing up into these halls. No one's watching it from Liquid. Adren and Fugly are both at the A ramp, so no one's no one's looking for FNS. He can get behind him. He could catch him off guard if he's patient, if he clears that out. That was almost a Canadian out from you. And just as, as, just as the timing, I mean, Fugly, who had dread, not looking whatsoever. Fugly had turned around to watch for it, but FNS wins both those battles anyways. Huge plays from him, getting aggressive. 
And now three members of Liquid spread out all across the map. They're going to have to take these one-on-one -on -one battles. He's just going to be attempting to find Nitro as well and does so successfully as he already knew he'd made it inside the connector. At least he'd get boosted through the window. And he's got himself a decent position, but with all his teammates gone, it's not a great situation. 46 seconds, bomb still in the hands of Flosik, who's rotating now back through T-Spawn, and they want to try and work on A because they think that Elise has the position advantage, but he doesn't because Hayes already finds him as well. So two kills from Finesse getting aggressive and two kills from Hayes by just outplaying the, the remaining Liquid members. It's left to Flosik, who's coming for the entry now. Does at least find a pretty shot onto Hayes, but... It's going to have to be a pretty play all the way through. He's got to be. He's got to be more aggressive even once a chance here because now they're all rotating and he does grab one more, but too much to deal with. FNS ends it with three after those initial two. Great push from him in a round that they needed it. They did not have the utility to really hold off any kind of attack in those choke points. Well, it was definitely a lot more one-sided when we started out than as it finishes. 7-1 is the start for Liquid. It goes to 9-6, so decent comeback from CLG, but that's CT side, so Liquid give themselves an excellent chance. Yeah, they really do. And that's not surprising, because we talked about how CLG loves to play this map. They always pick it against North Americans, so for Liquid to have that kind of a half, very impressive from them. This is that pistol on Tarek. He gets this kill, and he's going to swing his crosser immediately over the window and take a shot, just in case he catches a Dren jumping out, just in case he can get lucky. Unfortunately, Adren's not there, and he tries to stick. This is how close it was. This was insane. Yeah, this was absolutely nuts. Even now, watching the replay, you actually that, that see it get gone. to zero. It's, it's <laughs> at zero. So how did you know? I had to wait until Valve told me. Thanks so much. As look at that. Also, just those exit kills from Fugly as he caught them in transition on the retake. But overall, it was back and forth toward the end of it. This was Hayes when he shut down the eco. That was when the money started to get out of control. But this round from Elise, we're only going to see the first kill on that. That was when. Liquid secured the end of the half just by him getting those four kills in the first one, that reaction shot, unorthodox angle, and he nails it. Well, and I thought I thought Elise was going to get taken out there because actually Tarek and FNS, FNS had boosted him up and then had that position in front of the box, and that, that Molotov had to have just tickled him just enough to force him back so he couldn't complete that stack. Either way, that's a great half from Liquid. Now they're going to be onto that CT side. CLG has got a lot of work to do here. Just take a look at Team Liquid. Interestingly, Dren still strat caller, not sitting in the middle. They put Nitro in the middle. Maybe Nitro's the captain, without being the in-game leader. All right, it's fine. I just always, you know. I like how much evidence people people put I on put who's a, sitting I in the middle. In that. I do, because they're, you know, the ringleader. It's confirmed. That's that's why you, <laughs> when you sit in that middle chair, you gain superpowers. Okay. Speaking of superpowers, let's see who has a laser beam in the pistol round. Can you buy one of those? Absolutely not. We'll see who's got the accuracy. Adren, scouting from window, looking at the underpass, is going to fall back just a little bit now because so far there's been no presence there. It is going to be an A hit, though, so even if he does support from jungle, there's still a chance to help, but this gives Hayes connector, and he's already through. The smoke also on jungle allows him to go further, so the site is going to be given up unless Nitro can do something about it, but as he goes for that peak toward the connector, Hayes times his peak perfectly from Palace. And now Hayes is going to actually do even further damage. As he puts a nade out towards CT into the rotation players, and it's going to be another one tap from him onto Elise. Another from JDM now onto Flosik. And it just leaves Fugly and Adren with a bomb that's been planted now for 10 seconds and no kits. Actually, I take that back. Adren has a kit. Yeah, but they, there's complete CT spawn control for CLG. So even if Liquid's able to win these initial battles coming in for the retake, they don't. But they sort of had a tall task. That had to have been some kind of miscommunication between Adren and Nitro because. That smoke blocks off Adren. They were playing a retake strategy far back out of the site. That smoke blocks off Adren, and Nitro actually swings wide and looks down towards Connector to try and find something, but he's got no cover for anyone coming up ramp or coming out the palace, and he gets punished for it. And then once you get those three players on the stairs, just trading off the kills from the rotations in CT spot, it's basically all over from there. Such a hard position to retake on the pistol rounds for counter terrorists. An investment in this round, by the way. So this is an opportunity if CLG can win this one. This is going to put uh, Liquid into a tough economic position, but early on, Nitro takes out FNS all alone up there, and he only spots two, so we don't even know if it's stacked. And it's definitely a hefty SMG buy from CLG, which we haven't seen as much of this weekend. We've been seeing a lot more of the second round rifles. They only go for the one in Cutler, who has the AK-47. Nade lobbed out toward the van, not expecting armor to be up, although it is. So hoping for some heavy damage to anyone playing in that position. Flosik dodging a flash now that bounces off the window, but he can't dodge the bullets from Hayes' MP7. Fugly doesn't care what gun he's got because he gets the first shot, and it's extremely successful. But then he comes back from Cutler, and the trades are coming in. Liquid are still doing a tall task here, as now they pick up Elise with an AK-47, but he's completely obliterated as soon as he tries to use it. Adren has to switch to the pistol as he's extinguished and released all of the ammo from... 
the gun, and that's just enough of an invitation for Tarek to take the round. Yeah, good round from Liquid. Don't win it out in the end. Looks scary. They were all they were all converging onto that bomb site, but some nice uh, nice finds by CLG to get those kills inside the site before the flanks came in. Either way, four kills. Sealed, you're going to be able to stabilize, but still, coming into that next gun round, Liquid's not going to have all the smokes they want. They're not going to have those kits, so there's a chance for, for CLG to rack up some rounds early on in this half, just based on the economy. Look at the difference in these two styles, though. Oh, look at Flowsick. They're not looking his way. He does grab one, gets traded immediately, but Elysia's there as well to keep aggression the advantage. And the bomb, the bomb. Yeah, that's huge. Wide open of connector, window, and catwalk. And these CLG players are all split. FNS, he's going to come up catwalk from B. He needs to get this kill. He does. And then it's Cutler going to be coming from the top of mid and Tarek coming from A. This was actually the best way to get the bomb because, like you said, it was wide open for every other position. So Finesse has found the Achilles heel. He just needs to exploit it because so far one kill, now another. And Tarek, while they're all distracted in the window, is going to recover. So good play by CLG to pull this back because initially it looked grim. Nitro, oh, what a shot, though, on a Cutler. Still not done. And now he's got the AK, but he needs to read this because they're on either side of him and nowhere to look, nowhere to hide. He gets taken down in the back by Tarek. Yeah, but great damage done in these two rounds from Team Liquid. Four kills in the first one, three kills there. So CLG not able to stabilize, not able to build anything up. This is that round. This is a round where whichever team wins this is going to be forced onto a save round in the next. So this is a huge round just in terms of how this can impact the rest of the half. Off out of either side of Dren versus JDM. JDM inside the B apartments, actually, so not even looking toward mid where Cutler is to see if he can find a pick where the rest of the team goes to B. They just want him stacked up and ready to get there for the post plant, but the post plant may not come if Fugly continues to do the work that he is. It's finesse down as well, and that was the initial bomb carrier, so this slows things back down. That looks to break the deadlock in the Smart. favor of Liquid. But Smart Cutler, color. Yeah, waiting for that play from Elise to come back around, and now they'll get the bomb down and the man advantage because of this play. And the Smokes smoke walls. That's, ins that's insane. Oh, but Adren finds the angle. JDM thought it was completely smoked off, but it wasn't. That flashbang does nothing. Adren gets mowed down, trying to come out of the door, coming through the smoke, all on Nitro. Spraying down at the bench. He gets dinked up, though. Not much for him to do. Two on one. There's even a Molotov to prevent his progression, and he doesn't have a kit either way. Had to take that battle, he falls, and this is the difference in their two teams. Look at how fast that was. CLG, that was virtually a B-rush out of them. Possibly because they knew the economy was beaten up on the Liquid side, but on the reverse, when Liquid was terrorist, they were so passive for so long in those rounds. And it did look grim on the entry, because again, they had JDM just waiting in the apartment, so he would be in the window once they got in the site, but they hardly did. But as you said as well, taking down a liege, looking for that flank really secured. A lot in that post plant situation as Hayes now looks toward the ladder room. I'm not sure if he's okay, he definitely did on the second attempt. Spotted Nitro or not. And as he shoots the Nitro, Elise walks out, find a bullet that's addressed for his teammate. Instead, it's gonna kill him, and now Hayes will follow up with Nitro. Adren. Shall we count it down? Because his days are definitely <laughs> numbered. Yeah, they really are. Nothing really for him to do. Maybe find one kill. But look at CLG, not even progressing on Hobomb side, being patient. Now they're spreading out a little bit. Tarek's going to find this one on one. Adren comes up, can't win the battle. Gets sprayed down. So 11 to 9 now for CLG. So these are those, those rounds in the beginning of this half because they had complete economy. Cold. Because of that second round buy, the fourth round buy was so punished for Team Liquid. So CLG, just off the back of a superior economy and a weak one for Liquid, they've got the first five rounds of this half. And no AWP out for Adren on Team Liquid. Smoke in on the ramp, as per default from the CT side. And JDM this time will look toward me, but Adren again firing through smoke as an angle that is working wonders because it takes Cutler down to 27 HP. As Flosick comes out to help from Catwalk, it's that he's going to change and go all the way to the top of ladder, so no way they can get the boost easily with him in that position. As Finesse does come out from underpass. Look at the flames in front of Adren. The scorching inferno that prohibits his re-peak toward middle, so that for, therefore Finesse can get inside the connector, but the amount of smoke is also delaying him. Is he going to go through it? I thought maybe he might, but he falls. Yeah, and, and, and Tarek was trying to use that aggression that his team was putting out in mid. They were putting a lot of pressure, very aggressive with three players. Nice oh. shot from Hayes entering into the B-bomb, so he's got one more to find. This could change the round if he can find it, but Fugly's got a good angle, and he hasn't cleared it out quite yet. Hayes might not know he's there. Doesn't whatsoever. That's going to be dangerous when FNS tries to enter this bomb site. If he doesn't clear it, that's going to be a problem. So Bugly takes the headshot angle. Can't get the spray down. FNS gets that one. Adren coming through the smoke. He grabs an angle around the edge, but he gets dropped. Nice work from Hayes. He's opened things up for his team, giving him a chance in a two-on-two. 
Two and two post plant as well with the smoke. Similar situation to what we saw just two rounds ago. And Finesse, he's looking, but he doesn't have to because JDM's the one that's finding. He's got a liege already with the off. Nitro's going to swap it over to this M4, which does have a full clip. Magazine, rather. But it is going to be FNS who catches him trying to search for JDM first. Those entries from Hayes and even FNS coming ahead of the van, those were so crucial. And that really opened things up for him in a tough spot. So now CLG complete control of this match. This is getting very difficult for Liquid. They don't have a lot more mistakes that they can give up. How quickly it can change. As the first half looked great for Liquid, we looked like we may be going to map three with a great response. But now it's CLG who have taken back the reins and the money. And that's the important aspect, like you say. And now JDM has the op out, but the pistols they are pushing forward. They want to catch them off guard. They do manage to pick up one kill from a liege, but it's a double response from CLG. So man up, Fugly just over toward B is looking for information, but Adren realizing now that his re-smoke to delay doesn't really matter because they still have Palace to work from. Yeah, Tarek's stink though, so he can't be too aggressive. So they're just going to wait out the smoke, JDM and Hazed. Throw a nade out, which does great damage to Adren. Down to 13. Fugly's over there as well. With the HP so low, they're going to get aggressive. Fugly trades one off, but there's JDM to end it. Three rounds to go for CLG. And three rounds away from qualifying for the biggest event, or what is said to be the biggest event in CSGO history. How great would it be for them after the performances they put up? Beating Fnatic a few weeks ago, one map at least, at ESCA Pro League Finals. And this would just be the next step in the progress this team has made. As JDM watches for the cross inside the A site. The smoke is out, though, so he's not able to spot up a leash who gets toward the connector, but they still have a heavy presence right now to CLG on the A site, and a double stack over at B means a long rotation for both Fugly and Adren. Nitro is the only one directly inside the A site, and Nitro at least comes up big on the first, goes to the re-peak in low HP. It's Tarek to close him out. The help of Hayes just before, and a leash. Is he going to wait for his teammates? He's looking as aggressively for some more information, but now he'll slow things down as the bomb gets in position. And Tarek actually has to get away from that plant because the fire does come out. So good delay from Liquid here because the smokes will be gone now as the bomb does need to get planted. And Fugly's find the killing, find the kill on Cutler. Elise is doing the job as well, and they knew the op was on CT stairs, so they couldn't do anything. Excellent retake from Liquid. Yeah, patient. And the delaying, it took so long. CLG had control of the site, but wasn't able to get the bomb planted. The Molotov in the plant spot forced Tarek back. And when he went for it afterwards, there was a crack in the smoke, so he couldn't even do it. He would have gotten shot, shot through that gap. So Team Liquid... They do pick up their first round of this half, crucially. Now the danger is they cannot get reset here. They have to string them together, or else their tournament life could just be over. Hmm. So at least throws out that pre-smoke for himself so we can see over top to the top of middle. And with a short smoke on Cat, it allows Flowsick to cover off the underpass. So that's a different approach. And it turns out to be effective as they find a man advantage again. And Liquid again, fighting back into this game. They won the last round. Need to give themselves a chance by breaking the economy of CLG. Yeah, significant damage to JDM as well. Down to 42. Not able to find anything. So with one life and a lot of damage. Look at Fugly as well. He pushed up into the B tunnels last round, but he's done it again because they didn't spot it. Now he's got such a great position. He hears Tarek running. He's got the intel. Alish pushing into connector. Grabs one. Is immediately traded by Hazed. And this is where Fugly's going to pounce over towards mid. But it's counter logic who are being counterflanked right now as Fugly gets in behind Tarek, gets the first kill, and falls accordingly. So that gives Liquid still the man advantage, but take that away. It's Hayes to find Adren. As they look toward jungle, the bomb, though, is in JDM's hand, and he's working inside B all to himself because Fugly has gone all the way toward T-spawn. Yeah, they know he pushed, so they know the B, the B defender is not there. Now the issue is, Hayes is still far away from JDM, so it's basically four individuals on the map right now. JDM does get that bomb planted for Kitchen. He's going to evacuate that way. He's going to have Nitro rotating over to deal with him. It's Hayes on Catwalk. They're going to get into a battle. Nitro's going to win that one. All up to JDM with this AWP. Interesting as well that Nitro doesn't go through the vents because he knows JDM's likely in market and now aware of his position, so they'll retake one from Apartments, one from Catwalk, but it's JDM who has the op, so all he needs is one shot. He's going to Molotov out on the bomb. There's not enough time. Even with that Molotov in play, Nitro's too low. I don't even think he can t attempt to stick this, so he's gone. And Counter Logic Gaming come back with the round 14, two to go, but Team Liquid aren't done just yet. Yeah, but that's brutal. Nitro's going to be able to save this gun, maybe even try and take the op. No, he's not even going to peek. He needs that gun more than, more than JDM needs his, but 
Smart play by JDM. Just get that first kill, throw the Molotov down on the bomb. He had his full kit of nades. He had a smoke and two flashes as well. He hadn't used anything throughout that round. So huge play from him. And once again, another round where CLG, they get punished early. They, they're in that round in a four on five, and they still equalize it eventually and then win it out in the end. And JDM, look how aggressive he's going to be with this op over toward B this time. He knows there's a player right in front as that flash comes out. And if he goes for the jump peek, it could be problematic, and he is looking to do it. JDM's got it pre-aimed to JDM. Excellent shot. Down goes Fugly. Did Fugly not spot him on one of those jumps? Oh, look at that. Okay, so Flosik equalizes. JDM couldn't find that one, but a beautiful shot to take out Fugly. Fugly actually jumped like three times. I'm surprised he hadn't spot him, and he kept going for it. Either way, once again, complete mid control from CLG. They're going to come in a connector. They got Elyse to clear out, and they do. They find him. Cutler not going to get fooled. Now it's Nitro. As his teammate falls, he swings wide into the bomb site. Nowhere to go from here. He's got to win the battles. So Adren does grab one in mid. They know exactly where he's at. Two on one, but the bomb's all the way down. The bomb's down so far away. Unfortunately, doesn't Adren doesn't even know it. And they hunt him down, so 15 to 10 now. And money is grim. It's a nice way to put it. For Liquid. Yeah, it was, it was the most polite thing I could say <laughs> in this situation. With tournament life on the line, no less, this is the second map. This is where CLG can eliminate and, and not just one tournament. You're right. The major. Yes, the major. <laughs> on the line. And Liquid, they do have the one rifle in Nitro. He's definitely got accuracy. He's definitely been potent throughout the weekend, but he's going to have to be even more so than that in this particular round as Liquid look to try and evaluate what was going on at mid. They've got Flosik, who's pushed all the way into the horseshoe, so he's fast enough. And if they could slow them down enough, as they're doing, he'll be on the flank. But never mind all that, because right now it's happening inside the Aesite. is Nitro, and now Elise with two, are getting the kills required. And Counter Logic Gaming are having a lot of trouble trying to get in. But it's Finesse who does catch Elise getting forward. And here comes the flank, but he looks back. He's actually looking the correct direction. But Flosik, with a perfectly placed bullet from that 5 7, leaves Tarek now, one versus three. And there is armor on Flosik, who's also picked up an AK, so that's a fair fight. As Tarek popping out, knows where two of them are. What a reaction shot on Flosik. He may still do this, but he can't. Fugly reacts too soon, and the P250 is enough. That was almost just absolutely insane. Tarek. Almost pulls it back. But either way, it's a liege with a dirty CZ round, picking up two, stopping CLG from gaining any entrance into that bomb site. So they hang on by a thread there, force a save out. So this could be one more unless some kind of miracle play happens, but it's fugly. These players over at B are not feeling a lot of pressure if it doesn't come quick, so they're getting aggressive. You can see a lot of flanks coming out in the gun rounds as well, pushing up and being ready to flank around towards A. Are they going to clear it? They're not. There goes Tarek. Well played by Fugly. So I said Team Liquid weren't done just yet. They proved that by winning that eco. And now with the pistols, the anti-eco looking solid as well. As it's down to three members, they might get this bomb plant though because they have a smoke off for Cutler, which won't allow Flosick to spot him. And he's flashed as well as he tries to find exactly where that bomb is placed. And there's decent post plants. Again, no weapons. Fugly blinded up. Elise bails him because Fugly could have gone down. So it stays flawless and they'll build up even more. That won't matter. It's just winning rounds at this point. Right. They, they, got, they got nothing left to give up. But a, a good bomb plant, that's exactly that's all CLG wanted in that round and they find it even in a three on five. They're going to buy here. FNS drops the op over to JDM, trades it for an AK-47. And still, uh, Team Liquid, even with winning a couple, Dren's going to be on this FAMAS. Can't upgrade. Doesn't have the money for it. Nitro does. Two toward mid. So Liquid again are looking for this pressure. But Elise might get caught in the open. Luckily, that smoke up to his left gives him a bit more cover. So he finds the first kill and finds a way to escape. So good advantage. Right, but they've dropped they've dropped rounds like this before. When they have the five on four, they still cannot be complacent with it because CLG, they've been equalizing. The good news is that they've got a decent spread right now in the defense. All areas are covered. There's no overcommitments or gaps that they have to worry about. And as a result, CLG is going to group in middle, try and open up the map, figure out their best option. Adren's left the window, so they will be able to push up a little bit more safe. But Elise is on the stairwell, now smoked off. So this gets interesting again. Yeah, and Flosik's holding an angle on Catwalk, ready to swing out whenever he feels the pressure. And there's one jumping up. That's JDM. Unfortunate timing as Cutler had just worked his way into the window room. A nice pop flash to cover his retreat, but now a three on five. All members of CLG, they pretty much have to be committed to B at this point. And Liquid knows it. Adrenaline is starting to cheat over that way. There's a time limit on when they have to enter this bomb site. Cutler's in a battle long range. Fugly's going to win it. Fugly, though, takes a little bit of damage as he ducks in behind the bench. Takes even more as he takes the repeak, but also wins the exchange. It's Tarek, though, again, in an improbable situation, but he's always a threat. It is Liquid with 13th round 
and still very tight money for CLG. Yeah, th and this is a pause from Keller. This is a good call because they're going to have to save this round. They want to have one more solid buy at 14 rounds. See what they can come up with from there. Uh, they got one last chance at a full buy to, to not have to go in overtime. This is the same situation they were in against Mythic. And we're going to do a listen in with CLG really quick on this timeout to see what they're thinking. What I see. I think they're going to do something today and push through the smokes like a kaboom. That's what I'm okay. thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be A right away. We win this round without a bomb plant. There's so many fuck boys. Yep. That's uh, it, interesting that they're anticipating a play already. It's not even adjusting what they're going to do. They're trying to figure out and get a read exactly. And they go. They, they say Liquid's going to throw that wall of smoke inside A, so they're going to go for an early stack. On no, I believe that was that was actually Liquid that we listened into. Oh, was that? Okay, because I, I had believe CLG so. on the screen there. No, it was a CLG pause, but I think we were listening to, to Liquid. Uh, that, that the Kaboom strat that they're calling, that's... That's the strat. I got so confused by that. <laughs> it's all right. I got you. Thank that, you. Well, that, that Kaboom strat is, is uh, obviously... Kaboom.td was what uh, Keatstars were known for at MLG when they when they really showed that they, they had some chops on this map, and that was kind of the smoke execute that they that they showed that could be so incredibly effective. But right now it's been misread because they thought Liquid that it was going to be A, it's all on B. So CLG with these pistols are a threat, but Fugly is going to answer the task. Lines up three. Flosick actually picks up one of them, and now he's got the hat trick as he turns back, finding Cutler, the only player left in mid. So we're going 30 rounds, but are we going more than that? And they knew that if they didn't get a bomb plant CLG, but they would have no money. They do still have enough to bring out AKs, so that that's not a correct read, and we'll see if that catches them off. Yeah, and uh, actually interesting that the Liquid had the wrong read on that on that round altogether. Not only the economy, but just the play that was going to come out. They, they must have thought that that was going to be a buy out of CLG, uh, just based off the strategy, the Kaboom strategy they called. Which therefore could change the thought process back to knowing that they will have guns in this But one. look at this aggression, they keep up the pace. CLG, Cutler's already coming up connector, doesn't have to worry about anyone, he's smoked off from jungle. There is one in the closet, one in CT spawn, and one in the site. Cutler's gonna come in, Hayes grabs the first one. Cutler's not able to find anything quite yet, he does know that one's there. Jumps over up out of the smoke, that movement could do something for him. And Flosick rotates, but JDM in a perfect position punishes it. Bomb is planted though, so CLG have that working for them, as well as the two make it Three-man advantage, but it comes back just to the other way a little bit as Adren finding one. He has to go through this Molotov, and he can't even do that because as soon as he does, Finesse is waiting. So 2-0, CLG knockoff.